Tuesday, May 21st, 2013, Village of Peoria Heights Board of Trustees meeting. Meeting is now called to order. Would you please rise and join us in the Pledge of the Flag? Order of business tonight is the approval of the Board of Trustees minutes for the May 7th, 2013 meeting. Are there any changes that need to be made to the minutes as submitted? Motion for approval, please. I have a motion from Trustee Carter. Second. Second from Trustee Riker. All those in favor of approving the Board of Trustees minutes for the May 7th, 2013 meeting to signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Next up, we have the uh, approval of the swearing in meeting of the village officials on uh, minutes from May 7, 2013, as well. Are there any changes that need to be made to those minutes as submitted? I have a motion from Trustee Riker, second. Second from Trustee Cumming. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. session minutes for the April 16th, 2013 meeting. Do we have a motion for approval? I have a motion from Trustee Riker. Second. Second from Trustee Cumming. All those in favor of approving the executive session minutes for April 16th, 2013, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Thank you. You guys have it. The board has approved the executive session minutes for April 16th, 2013. Order of business tonight is correspondence, and that will be presented by our village clerk, Shauna Musser. We have one item this evening, and it is a uh, letter to Sarah Whitbrot um, from Luann Clauden, the auction director at WTBP. It's dated May 15, 2013, and it reads as follows. The 40th annual WTBP auction was a great success thanks to your generosity and support. On behalf of WTBP, its staff, auction participants, and viewers, I want to express our deepest thank you for your donation to the auction. This year, the auction raised over $100,000. Without your support, there would not be public television in Central Illinois. This year, WTVP is celebrating its 41st anniversary, and in the spring of 2014, we will be conducting our 41st annual auction and are already beginning to plan for spe this special event. We encourage you to consider donating to the WTVP auction again next year, and you might even consider putting some things aside now for that occasion. We certainly look forward to working with you again next year. The auction is a key fundraising event for the station and generates money we need to pay for the programming broadcast on our three channels to viewers throughout Central Illinois. The dollars generated in part from your donation will go a long way in providing viewers with such quality and diverse programming as Downton Abbey on Masterpiece, Antique Roadshow, American Experience, Mystery, Nature, Sesame Street, The News Hour, Nova, This Old House, and Lauren Squelch. Thank you once again for participating in our annual auction. WTVP could not do it without you. Okay, thank you. I was afraid they weren't going to mention Lauren's wealth, and I'm going to be pretty upset about that. Thanks again. Um, no announcements tonight, so we'll move. Mover. Can you hear kind of a tinning out there? Oh, well, I'll try and stay further away from this. Uh, we move now to trustee reports. And first, we'll do the annual. Sure, he's really graduated, but 
questions at all for Trustee Fuller? Well, you know, I wasn't assuming that it was going to be someone from my class or class of 84. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't, don't know that any of us, uh, except for a few, had our list even uh, complete in all the time. So, so you'll, you'll learn that lesson in a few years here. Let me just wait a little bit. Let me take a quick second and see if we can adjust this. Next up will be uh, building maintenance with Trustee Gap. Thank you. We'll move in and close out with the fire department with Trustee Gap. tonight, so we'll move on to new business. And first up is an approval to use Tower Park on June 21st and 22nd, and that will be presented by Trustee Carter. Again, is for board approval of the use of Tower Park on June 21st and 22nd for 38 days. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Thank you. The ayes have it. The board has approved the use of Tower Park on June 21st and 22nd for 38 days. Uh, next up, new business is an approval for the use of Tower Park on September 21st, and that will be presented by Trustee Carter. Or comments from the board before the board votes. 
and was used for board approval of the use of Tower Park on September 21st of this year for the Scottish Light Walk. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. If those opposed, please say no. Okay, thank you. The ayes have it. The board has approved the use of Tower Park on September 21st for the Scottish Light Walk. Next order of new business tonight is the approval of the use of Tower Park on June 4th for the Chalk Art Project, and that will be presented by Trustee Carter. So I also want to teach them about being responsible in the community, graffiti art, you know, the illegal one versus actually burning. So I wanted to go to the that is so that is the main idea. In case of rain, can I get a permit for another day? Can we extend that? Yeah, the we'll rain uh, come up with, board approves June 4th, we'll come up with a rain date for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, is there uh, any, there's a motion to approve the order, I have a second. Uh, I have a motion from Trustee Carter and a second from Trustee Reichert. Any <coughs> questions or comments from the board before the board votes? signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Thank you. The ayes have it. The board has approved June 4th uh, for the Chalk Art Project in Tower Park, and we'll come up with a rain date in case it does rain that day. <coughs> Next order of uh, new business tonight is the approval of the Peoria Heights High School Homecoming Parade, and that will be presented by Trustee Carter. Questions or comments from the board before the board votes? Okay, once again, it's for board approval of designating October 12th for the day of the Perry Heights High School homecoming parade. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Okay, thank you. The ayes have it. And October 12th, 2013 will be the date of the Heights High School homecoming parade. 
next order of new business tonight regards a special use request, and that will be presented by Trustee Carter. Again, this is for the uh, one-year renewal on a special use request for Mr. James Simmons for the uh, lawnmower work he does at his house. Madam Clerk, would you please call roll? Trustee Murray? Aye. Trustee Carter? Aye. Trustee Fuller? Aye. Trustee Riker? Trustee Judd? Aye. Trustee Cummings? Aye. Okay, thank you. By a vote of 6 to 0, the board has approved the special use request for Mr. James Simmons regarding the lawnmower work at his home for the coming year. Next order of new business tonight regards a uh, bid award for the 2013 seal coating contract, and that will be presented by Trustee Harn. Thank you, Mayor Allen. We received two bids for our seal coating contract for the year. Uh, the first was from Stephens 3D Construction, and the second was from R.A. Cullinan. Stephens 3D Construction is noted as a low bidder with a bid of $115,157.05, which is order of new business tonight is the approval of um, spray patching coats and that will be presented by Trustee Hart. Thank you again, Mayor Allen. Uh, we received material proposals from two contractors to perform spray patching on Prospect Avenue, Glen Avenue, and Lake Avenue prior to seal coating. Both contractors possess the qualifications to perform the work. Uh, the following is a summary of the quotes. Quality Spot Repair Incorporated is $48. Trustee Riker, any questions or comments from the board before the board votes? I'll make one more comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think everything that they've done so far with that spray has been really nice with you by the time they're done. I mean, that thing's up a lot better. Yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah, I think uh, I'm very pleased with the results of it so far. Any other questions or comments from the board? Okay, once again,
Once again, this is for the approval of the dip and mid-state asphalt repair in the amount of $4,751 for the spray patching this year as presented by Trustee Hart. Madam Clerk, would you please call roll? Trustee Hart? Aye. Trustee Carter? Aye. Trustee Fuller? Trustee Radcliffe? Trustee Dutch? Aye. Trustee Kennedy? Aye. Okay, thank you. By a vote of six to zero, the board has approved the dip and mid-state asphalt repair for the spray patching this year as Next order of new business tonight is some uh, bid opening information, and that will be presented by Trustee Hart. Thank you, Mayor Allen. Uh, we received sealed bids for construction of the Park Place Montfort Avenue improvements on Monday, May 20th, 2013, at 3 p.m. Four contractors submitted bid proposals for this project, a summary of which can be found in the attached bid draft email. Uh, the low bid for this project came in from ICCI. questions or comments from the board before the board votes. Once again, it's for board approval of uh, tabling the bids for the Park Place and Montclair improvements until after the departmental meeting next week. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Thank you. The ayes have it. And we will address it and uh, research it, so to speak, at the departmental meeting next week. Next order of new business tonight is the Peoria Heights Police Department Eastwood Awards, presented by Trustee Cumming. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mayor Allen. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the second piece of this award came in. Obviously, with uh, my uh, Monday County Clerk of the Year, Mayor Radcliffe has done a spectacular this year. I was proud to have succeeded you in the Peoria Your award is going to Kevin, and I take this opportunity to transfer the dollar to you. opening comments, uh, then we'll get right into the award ceremonies. Officers, when your name is called, if you would just come up and on here, because I know some of the awards would be taking some of the time. So. Can you hear me all right? Size and geography, the Peoria Heights Police Officer has many different job duties that make it hard for the young men to find their calling. The Peoria Heights Police Officer is here to stand responding to calls, traffic enforcement, walking the business district, posting on designated hot spots, and last but not least, checking where assigned coordinates are located. What a fun and my order to be able to get to the Tonight is a small sample of, rec of the recognition you deserve. If I were to recognize you, Officer, for everything you did during the year leading 
Brad Vaughn, Sergeant Kevin Kreider, Officer James Powers, and uh, Detective Jody Brackman. This letter of commendation is to acknowledge your outstanding work while serving on the evening of 30 October 2012. At that time, you responded to an unknown trouble call uh, where an ambulance had been uh, requested. Officer Powers was the first to arrive on that scene. Uh, he found an unresponsive, uh, unresponsive infant there, began uh, CPR just prior to the arrival of paramedics. Um, Officer Powers and I assisted in uh, uh, questioning the child's father in an effort to determine what the cause of his condition had been. Uh, Officer Powers and the other officers uh, who joined us at the scene later to include uh, Officer Vaughn, Officer Kreider, and uh, uh, Officer Schweitzer, please come up here. I'm sorry, I missed your, uh, you were down there at the bottom, Bill, sorry about that. But, uh, uh, Officer Vaughn and uh, Officer Schweitzer both joined us as they came on third shift that night. They came immediately to our scene. Uh, although uh, in the unfortunate circumstances of this case, the child did not survive uh, the efforts of these officers uh, and particularly uh, Detective Brackney in the aftermath of this, uh, she spent many long hours uh, interviewing uh, the suspects uh, in conjunction with some other investigators. Uh, this led to uh, uh, homicide charges being uh, filed against the, the child's father. So whereas we could not save the child's life, uh, we were able to bring this uh, case to a, uh, a prompt resolution uh, thanks to uh, the officers right up here. And they will each receive a letter of commendation Powers to uh, remain up here, please. Also, uh, Officer Charles Wilson will be acknowledged. He is